Hi, and welcome to Alan's Garage, where all your dreams and wishes come true with just a little bit of elbow grease. Today we are making the CNC machine. And basically this whole mess is just me welding up some steel. But here is the, uh, the beginnings of it. I'm going to have two of these interspersed with um, very long 8 foot. So basically this is 5 feet wide and from, from here to here is 4 feet. So it's going to be 4 feet of 4 by 8 feet of steel. So basically there's going to be one here, one here, and one here. And that's going to be the tabletop. And then there's going to be basically one rail going here and that's going to be the gantry rails that the gantry is going to be moving along. So that's it. So I guess I can show you the rest of the CNC stuff that I've got. Here is three of the racks. Rack, uh, this is 20 degree uh, pressure angle, 20 pitch rack, and there's no holes, so I got to drill those. But uh, basically, I'm going to use those, and I bought some gears. Here's some uh, Makita gears. I was thinking I was going to have to gear down these uh, uh, the power on this to uh, get enough torque, but I've got these really beefy motors from uh, Hobby CNC. Let's see, Hobby CNC. These are 305 ounce inches of torque coming out of this beefy motor. And it's uh, got two shafts, two output shafts, so maybe I'll be able to uh, eventually have two racks on each side so that maybe it'll drive smoother. But we will see. Here's uh, my nice little cutoff saw I got. I don't know why it doesn't cut very well, but I think I need to get a, a sharper blade or a diamond blade or something. So anyway, Ooh, and here's a new tap and die set. So I can drill and tap some holes. Anyway, not much to see yet, but I'll keep you updated. Alright, peace out.